This program is part of American Graduate. Let's make it happen. A public media initiative made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Now more than ever, a high-quality education is crucial to ensuring career success. But for decades, South Carolina's I-95 corridor has been characterized by a lack of industry, high poverty, and poorly performing schools. Rural South Carolina, we have a large percentage of dropouts, uh, almost 50 percent, uh, and, and that's, that's a tragedy because those students really don't have much of a shot are still labeled as the corridor of shame. And it's a vicious cycle because they don't see anything other than what they're growing up in. And they don't understand that they can get out of that. How can South Carolina break that cycle? How do we show students in rural, high poverty schools a way out? In partnership with Furman University's Riley Institute, educators at Carleton County High School are piloting an innovative new educational method that may be the answer. What we've been able to determine from the research is that students that are engaged in hands-on, um, research-based education, those students are the ones that really are able to pinpoint what types of careers they're interested in, and if they're able to identify those things yes. early on, then they're much more likely to graduate. I'm working on the arrows. Okay. Yeah, I think we should use number five. What do you think? In 2013, with funding from a $2.9 million federal innovation grant, Carleton County School District joined the National New Tech Network. Cougar New Tech, a school of choice housed inside Carleton County High School, uses cross-disciplinary, project-based learning to connect classwork to real-world applications. The New Tech model also stresses skills that help prepare students for college and work, like critical thinking, collaboration, and personal responsibility. You put a bunch of them together, it's a cord, but what's it? It's when a they first come into high now. school, they have this, well, if no one went to college in my family, why would I? So I don't think that they know coming in that the things they want to do, like computer programming, why am I ever going to use geometry? Why am I ever going to use art? How does this matter to me? So when they come in, they learn these things, and because we do so many different projects that connect content areas, they get to see, oh, this does apply, and I can do this in college, so that is an option for me. And then we like did stuff like squares and triangles and rectangles. I feel like New Tech gives them a vision, and that the traditional school, the kids don't buy it. What were your knows and needs to know? So we can go ahead and start making a template about our area. Project-based learning, it has a purpose to it. Because it has a purpose and a community connection, we're seeing that students are able to find that relationship and how it actually matters to them. I co-teach integrated business applications. I am a technology and business teacher with World Geography. Everything that we do is in a project. Our students are one-to-one -one with technology. Everything has gone through ECHO. It is a proprietary software. We have agendas that are built for them in there. Our students are able to access at any given time the links within the agenda. Those are live links that allow the classroom basically to be student driven. What are you on right now? The group contracts. All right. Okay, so I'm going to share it to your drive and then you're just going to, do you know what role you actually want to fill? Yeah, I do. They're able to learn what true agency is, about work ethic, about putting themselves in a place where they can get the job done. A lot of these students don't have that capability when they come in, or they don't realize they have the capability. What are you going to add? You're going to add um, more detail. More A lot of times they don't have anyone to steer them in the right direction. New Tech provides those facilitators and those role models that those students may not have access to in their home life. A lot of our students don't have 
family traditionally. They see each other as a family here. It's a really good place for them to feel welcomed and not only feel welcomed but feel loved. So it provides the safe environment for them to trust not only in themselves but in their facilitators and in their team that if they do fail they will be lifted back up instead of set aside. Now, do we understand the difference between when we do this and when we make sister chromatids? We open them up to a different culture. We make sure that these students are able to recognize that there's a world out there other than Collin and County. We have cultural projects that are connected to what they want to do and how they need to get there. And I think that that will help the students to learn that they can do something they thought was impossible. We start talking about what colleges and careers are out there on day one and what our learning outcomes do to facilitate their achieving the goals that they may have in life. How oral communication, written communication, all of those things factor into their ability to go to college and their ability to be successful in the workplace. Because they have those dreams and those goals, we feel like we'll close that gap for graduation. If we think about how students perform historically across New Tech schools, 95% of our students should graduate on time in this program. They're going to have the, the ability to work with others within a department or within an industry. They're going to be able to use what they've learned in here, that agency, the work ethic, in order to shine wherever they go. Are y'all having trouble pulling it up? Because I can type They're it for you. Pulling, yeah. Do you have any notes that you want me to type for you, or you can use mine? They feel very engaged in their learning. They feel very connected to the adults here and to each other. So there's a great deal of personal accountability associated with that, and we feel like that is what it's going to take to close the gap. They're ready to go into college, ready to prepare themselves further, and certainly be ready for careers. Cougar New Tech's proponents believe the school will not only increase the graduation rate, but also transform Colleton County into an innovation hub as it becomes known for producing graduates prepared to meet the escalating demand for employees equipped to work in high-tech fields. It's an ambitious goal, but educators and students at Cougar New Tech are working towards it, project by project. This program is part of American Graduate, Let's Make It Happen, a public media initiative made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting.